pizza simulator. Get that meat lovers. Come on. Turn that up. Get that meat lovers. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Like, I Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Right Begin audio Very prompt right in three, you two, one. Don't be facing that thing. Are we facing that thing? I think not. Let's stop it. Document results. Okay. Like, this is Begin the only thing audio prompt in three. Like, I'll get two, by the visuals, the one. audio. Let me turn down real quick, cause document results. Yeah, as long as I keep an eye on baby, Begin while these audio are going, prompt she shouldn't in three, have an issue. Two, one. If I can salvage, oh, I just I have to go through the cut of the night. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Yeah, I know. I'm being a little punk right now because I don't have the headphones on. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. 
it's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking right, so about we're becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited Sammy, degree of success. Sammy, don't like your sure, mother. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making like sure you your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in like new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant Honestly. will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, so. which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside what in the world whatever what in the you world just is purchased that? with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. I mean, I bet you, I this bet you concludes probably do the amount of help we are legally well, obligated to provide. To Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I have a kitty. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Uh... Okay. Hold on, real quick. Let me switch my face cams. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed over. Because I have baby in here, I think. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three I'm tools available from the terminal itself. 
There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Yeah, I'm constantly like checking these vents. Like, this is supposedly the first night. Okay, there's nothing there. Like, I don't know who we're gonna find tonight, but I'm trying to get the crap jump scared out of me. So apparently we're supposed to be playing as Michael Afton, getting everybody here. Like, a handyman to help, like... So, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna play it safe and buy some of the equipment that we can. I'm afraid to where it's a lot quieter because the less noise we bring to ourselves, the better. Because we got a little candy here. My handy is Primal. Sadly, he doesn't do anything for me. He just... just I don't know why we have to replace the bulbs daily. I can get why we have to clean the ovens daily. I also get why I have to pick a cat up off my desk about every five minutes. At least, like, you can control. Like, doing the maintenance tasks. Like, I don't think we're gonna get anything jump scaring us tonight. What was that? Something just flickered. Log off, log Great off. Great job. It. it looks log like off, you're getting the hang off. of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. Oh no. And that Molten is inspecting Freddy. and salvaging any yeah, animatronics I'm, I'm found in the alley this, outside the back door. Audio cues. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure. 
Hold on, I need to add a like a noise gate. No, I can have a like. Cause honestly, for this, I'm gonna have the headphones off, but they're gonna be playing. Honestly, I don't know why there's not a noise gate on here. Uh, test, test. You have chosen to proceed with okay, the maintenance checklist. Okay, so now checklist. we don't have that. Remember, use your company as you take. Filters. I might add a gain filter. <laughs> That just scared the living crap out of me, honestly. Three, two, one. Document results. <laughs> Begin on. Prompt in three, two, one. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on him. Because he has to go through the second stage before he can even jump scare me. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. I don't think so! Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I'm kind of screwed over if he even decides to move after paragraph four. Document results. Kitty, gotta move, buddy. Begin audio prompt in three. Okay, he still does. One. What kind of these? Like, if you want good audio prompt, you should just make children's lap. Not some weird horror music. Once how it reacts to children, not. Stop it. Document results. Okay. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. I think he's the tutorial one. You don't end up ever getting jumped. Right now. Yeah, I bought that sanatorial kit just because I know there's gonna be some kid living. Like No, I'm gonna go without the liability risk.
thing. What's happening? Two months and you go off the road. Like, once you're just a certain mile per hour and you go off the road, it causes, like, a secondary mini game. That's what you just get for the good ending, supposedly. There it is! This is like a hidden easter egg kind of thing. If you don't notice that if you're going too fast, you could easily mess this up. You know you can't be here. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Uh, let me... Fine. I thought there's gonna be a jump... Apparently, from what? Oh, I'm a mustard man. I think this is supposed to be purple. Ga Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He had a rough day. That looks familiar. I told you not. I told you not to close the door. This is my house. You can't ignore me like that. I'll find the door. Find a way in from outside. Hmm. My guess is that. Hey, let's go around. Also, I kind of like how Scott put these eight-bit games in here. He ran off to that place again. He'll be sorry when he uh. Wait, why didn't get in the catalog? Candy Cadet! Nope. Okay, so let's go grab a frog. Oh my god. What the heck did they do to Chica?
Oh, look at little Shuji. Um, okay then. I think I might have messed up. Weird. I guess that's supposed to have Now this is gonna be fun. Because we don't have Molten Freddy to worry about.
I don't know how it's gonna end up working. I don't know if I'm gonna get the crap scared out of me. That's a loud printer. Yeah, we're gonna get jump scared. You shine the flashlight through the vent. I know it's a cop out to play Five Nights at Freddy's with speakers. But honestly, I feel it's a lot better for me. That's just the point. I feel like he's gonna jump scare me last possible second. Like tomorrow I need to focus on playing through. Like this is like that like the Five Nights at Freddy's complex when I'm not gonna lie, the cat just scared the crap out of me. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Uh, hi, Spring. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unsafe. Hey, if I accidentally, if I tap out the mess with OBS, you can only use it three times before it begins it ends to damage up the audio in the game and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh, he's living. I can see the white speck right here. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. No, bad spring trap. Oh my god, I'm getting such a bad feeling. This for a ball. I always come back.
Damn it, I blame you. I mean, I kind of have no choice. You guys don't need a maintenance. Honestly, I'm probably gonna use this guy. Just, you know, get the, get the quiet crap. Just, uh, 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 uh. I to get the little crap scared out of it. Okay, I gotta play audio in the corner. Oh, I feel like spring trap's gonna come at us. Up oh, and spring trap. Hire handyman. I'm gonna end it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know I was being a complete another punk, but yeah, you could have put that at the beginning, Scott. Like, oh my god. And lots of fun. Fun. God. No. I always got the literal crap scared out of me. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm ending it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys want me to scare the crap out of myself even more. I'll talk to you guys next time. No, let me all tap out. Of course. I'm gonna end the game from here. Like, holy crap, Spring Trap just scared the living crap out of us. I blame you! Yeah, because one, we wouldn't have failed the salvage if he didn't jump up on the desk. Dude, he won't scare the crap out of us. Oh my god, cats!
Yeah, honestly, we should probably get that next time. Oh wait, an actual security door. Like that would probably help us out in the night. Hey, Bonnie. We've already completed the lore for it. Clawing on my chair. Okay then. Game win. Okay. That should give us a performance bonus. We just made our money back up that easy. Take a bit of risk. Around the six straps, clean and polish. Oh, I need to get the better one. You guys get rid of this. I think I can get the hundred for and then clean it and polish it. Nope. At the coin slot. 
Wait, how do you add a coin slot to a ball? Happy, no, I'm sorry, buddy. Wait a minute. I heard that there is actually a trick to beating like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 4 like, just to skip the nights. I wonder if that's true with this one. I need CD hold the nose for happy. No, I will get a high score and I will clean and polish it. Dang it. Too early. Sammy, get down. Oh! You blew it! You stop that! Like, he does not stop! There's a two risk, but I only have a one? Percent negative. Hmm. Oh, it's probably the sanitation kit. But night, we are, we need to know. Yeah, I have it on display. I hope you guys did enjoy, like, what we actually did. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to continue doing this. Because honestly, it's, it's frightening. And I know it's Halloween, Halloween coming up. I'm going to try to do a bit of ultimate custom night, like, the easy crap. Because you guys just saw I'm a big punk.